so today I wanted to talk about um, some lip products. The first thing that I purchased was from Sephora. It's called the Chorus Lip Butters. And I got mine in Wild Rose. So this is what it looks like. This is $12. So make sure your fingers are clean. Like if you apply it enough, like, you don't have to take it around and reapply it. But just um, know that when you eat and drink, th this will rub off your lip. Take my finger and just swirl it around. But um, this is how it looks. So this is how it looks like on my lips. Now just be aware that I had built up the color. This is definitely buildable. You can have it sheer, you can have it pigmented. Um, it's just a good alternative for maybe like a tinted lip balm. And I really like it. It's very light and smooth because it's um, thinner and um, it's not as thick and rich. And the color might last a little more depending on what you're doing. Next lip product that I'm going to be talking about is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liners. I feel like lip liners, especially drugstore lip liners, aren't really talked about that much on YouTube and it's not really reviewed as much. Most of the stuff is re that's reviewed is usually from Ulta or Sephora. So I got the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liner in Eternal Mauve. So even though it's called Eternal Mauve, I feel like on me, it's kind of like a brownish coral. So this is what it looks like. And the best thing is like, this lasts so much better than a lipstick. I'm not sure how long this would last with greasy food, but I think this is pretty good. Like you can drink water and it's not very transferable like um, lipstick would. Like, I mean, you can barely tell. Like, do you know when you have lipstick and you like, kiss your hand or you sw swatch it like on paper, you can see all the lines in your lips. But this doesn't. It's just like the outline. It's just like a really light, like a surface type of um, stain. Very mattifying, you know. Um, that's another thing. I suggest you wear a lip balm for like, for a while just before you put this on. I know a lot of times people think, oh, lip liner is supposed to be underneath or it's supposed to outline your lip. You could just use this on its own, really, you, you could. Definitely gives you that flesh look, I guess. Um, it, it does make all your lips even and everything, so I guess it wouldn't look, it would look natural, but not like your bare lips natural. But I bought this, um, it's from NYC, Smooch Proof. It's their 14 hour, now 16 hour, I don't really, I don't know about that time limit, but um, it is long wearing. Forever Freesia. And um, I kind of want other colors from this um, brand. This is really good if you have smooth lips. Um, and this is a very just bitten look. This is going to look um, very natural. And um, what I mean by that is not necessarily like the color itself, it's just the way it sits on your lips. It doesn't have a balm to it, but it's not drying. I definitely built it up. Texture, it does feel a little like a wet. Never keep your products like this. Always keep them down so that the, the color will be towards the brush more. That's the problem most people encounter with lip stains is they keep it up this way. Just make sure it's this way. So when you apply, you don't have to like shake. It's very easy to apply. It's not super drying that most people would think. It's um, It's not moisturizing either, but it's like it's kind of like you're putting water on your lips. It really depends where you get it from though, just because I found that different Walgreens, different CVS's carry different colors. I just got this like on a whim. I just, I didn't even look online. This will last me like, like it won't be as vibrant by the end of the day. It'll leave a stain like kind of towards the middle. Even if I put it on at, at 7 in the morning, by the time it's like 4 p.m. I still see a stain. It's not that much money, like, compared to other lip stains that the, that everybody advertises. This is the Revlon Just Kissable Bitten something. Okay, it's a long title, but you know what this is. There are enough videos about this. The one I have is in Honey. This is probably one of the most neutral colors in the line, so it's very opaque. And what I like about these is, unlike the New York Color Lip Stain, this has a bomb to it. And, okay. I don't feel like this is moisturizing enough to be a balm. Their only like reason that they made it like a balm stain is because it does have that balm texture, but it's only so the color gets distributed evenly. That's it. It's not drying either, but uh, the balm is just, it'll go away after two hours and you'll be left with the stain. The color actually dries darker than when I first put it on. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that. This is supposed to be like a warm neutral pink. Um, this is definitely, I feel like a more a uh, pinkish mauve. But this is what it looks like with someone, I guess, with my skin. 
against my skin and um, I really like it. This is definitely an everyday color. This is that my lips but better color for sure. It's, it's really versatile and it does leave a see as you can see like a glossy sheen and it has that coverage of like a lipstick. I'm just gonna move on to my next review which is another one of the Revlon Kissable Lip Stains. It's in Smitten. It's like a very berry type color. It's a deep pink. Oh, this is what it looks like. This is great for the fall and the winter. Completely. I love it. It's, it's a very nice rich berry color. Just be aware that I definitely built it up here just for the video. I think this would definitely work for medium and darker skin tones. This will last you a very, very long time. I mean, I know a lot of people are buying it like five, three at a time, but to be honest, you just wasted like $60 if you aren't using all of it. So get like two or one to start out with. This has been like a dupe for Clinique Chubby Sticks, but this is so much better than that because that doesn't give as much color payoff. A lot of those lip glasses that are so like misleading where it's really colorful in the tube and then when you put it on your lips it's super sheer it's like where did that come from you know that's it's so it's like they're cheating you kind of but you, you shouldn't be afraid to do that now because you have lip stains and there will be color underneath so totally play it up you know this this is so versatile so I would so say that investing ten dollars in this is completely worth it okay so I got this idea from this girl on YouTube you can check her out her name is Andrea's Choice and I thought this idea was so great but Andrea's choice she had talked about um, Kool-Aid lip stain which is just genius it's but there are many things that aren't being told about this method first of all you need to exfoliate your lips okay this is not remember this is not like a lip product with a bomb that can suddenly kind of hide some stuff or like a lipstick it's not gonna do all that this is definitely a DIY so you need to exfoliate. I cannot emphasize that enough. You need to exfoliate. You need to moisturize your lips. I would say 24 hours before you even try this out. You have to get rid of the top layer and you because it has to be even. I can't even emphasize that enough. And you can get this from Walmart. They have so many packets. If you go to Stop and Shop, they'll probably only have a limited amount like berry. You don't want to get berry. You don't want blue lips. I would check out Walmart. These are 20 cents a pack, okay? I bought strawberry. Please buy pink lemonade. You will want to try out that first. You know what it looks like in the car. You know car lighting actually shows all your imperfections. So when you look at a mirror in the car and you have applied something like strawberry Kool-Aid or cherry Kool-Aid, it will show the parts that are missing because the room lighting is very different from car lighting. Food coloring does the same thing except it's not very citrusy. Because this is like a citrus type of drink, it will burn your lips. Let me say that again. This will burn your lips, okay? But it's not forever. Trust me, it, it will be worth it in the end. The pigment is very strong. So if it goes on wrong, it's very hard to remove. You can try makeup removers, you can try washing your, your mouth with soap. It's not gonna work. So I suggest you make sure your lips are in very good condition before you try this. There's nothing in this pamperin bottle. It's empty. And um, save containers like these. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, this is the pink powder. It's very light. It will burn, but it's very worth it. If you, if you get pink lemonade, just please try out with that. It's very forgiving. Your cracks won't be that enhanced if you were to use maybe like strawberry or cherry. Just try this out first. There's no, no question you need a mirror for this. And you need to lick your finger, make sure your fingers are clean, or you could use a Q-tip. Just lick my finger, dip it in, and lightly put it around the lips. Okay, so it's really like, like a popsicle look, I guess. You have to do little by little, like just, this lipstick is just a concealer. So this might be kind of motivating for you to keep your lips healthy, you know, keep it in, in, in good condition. I'm gonna try on my last swatch. This is the price that you have to pay. Um, you can use a Q-tip. This was not coming out. Thank God I don't have to go anywhere. Maybe like a hot steam shower. I suggest that because that's the only way this could probably get up. This is very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. It burns. I'm not kidding here. It burns. But look at the color payoff. It's a stain. Make sure your lips are in good condition. This is my review for my lip products and DIY lip stains. So, um, rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you like this. I will be coming out with more reviews like this, um, besides just, um, the hair reviews. So, 
that's what I have for today and until next time